can fit in a in any small yard but you can fit a lot of food in a small space when you grow a food forest where you're stacking the layers you have the pigeon peas here these are very fun um, i got these seeds from south america and they do really well here in southern california boil them in salt water and treat them like they were edamame you can add them to your soups and stews um, and they also are a great nitrogen fixing plant so they help the garden and then all the pollinators bees and hummingbirds and everyone comes to the flowers and these are great because they live for five years most of the time when you grow peas they they only live for a few months and then their life is over so this is a great way to make it easier see they hang hang like grapes almost There's more over here there's one right here that one's fully ripe because it's turned brown the husk is brown oh, now it's beautiful and then there's the nut. Yeah. And they just fall on the ground. Sometimes. And I love coming underneath the orange tree. It's like, sneak under here. And then it's like a private world. It's a little, isn't it fun? So I kind of keep the, um, the trunks a little clear in here to, to keep the air circulation. These are still not ripe, but they will get yellow when they're ripe. But these are the pineapple tomatillos. Children love them, adults love them. They're a fun little plant and they grow almost like a weed here in Southern California. They're in the tomatillo family. Cool. And look at how pretty their little flowers are. Isn't that cute? And there are cherries on this hedge. Ah, oh, all right, there I see it. These cherries. This hedge is, is a very old hedge and it produces cherries. I used to eat those when I was a kid and I was so happy that they were here. They're very different from the Bing cherries that we're used to eating. They're kind of crunchy and juicy, um, but they're still really good. The color of their seed. It has that seed. This stuff that came by seed, there's some collard greens over there. And let's see, what else? It propagates itself. Every one of these nodes on here is a growth node. So if you just take a section of the sugar cane, uh, you can plant it and it'll root itself. Right. That was the original stand of bananas. Like it was one banana when I first planted it. And I planted it here. It was never very happy here because it was too shady. This lavender and some of the other lavenders, I started just from a piece of lavender and just root it and put it in the ground and there you have more. And I like to do that so I have more than one uh, lavender plant in case, in case anything ever happens to one of them. You have, you know, a few. A tree called an ice cream bean. Um, kind of got a, a fun, sweet, sort of fluffy uh, fruit. So I just started this one not too long ago and it got really tall and the wind was pushing it over. So I cut a lot of the height off of it didn't hurt it at all and now it's pushing out a little bit more so I'm not sure how long it'll be before it starts fruiting this is one of the pioneer plants that will grow anywhere it's such a strong and sturdy plant you could even take a cutting of it and if you dropped it on the ground it would live for a very long time so you can put that in a garden and then other plants can cozy up next to it and get shade from the sun if you put it you know, on the north side. Um, so it's a great starter plant. And the, not everyone knows this, but it's edible. It's called ele elephant food, and it really is edible. I heard that. You, yeah. 
That's kind of sour. This one is a loquat. The color of No, we're not trying to teach gardening here. We're trying to educate people about how nature provides so much bounty without even having to work. Um, a lot of the plants that are very healthy and edible show up voluntarily in the garden. And a lot of times when you start one plant, it will reseed itself and it'll continue on uh, for years and years without you having to replant over and over again. This grows lemons. This one is probably uh, at least 40 years old. No, 45 because the lady next door has lived there for 45 years and it was already here. So that's what I love about these trees. They keep living for generations. And somebody planted it once, and we still enjoy it. Yeah. And here's an olive tree. Gotta get some of those, those olives out for you to try. 